Hello, welcome. I'm a student athletic therapist. In this video, we're going to talk about the superficial lower compartment of the leg. In this compartment, we have three muscles. We have plantaris. This muscle originates from the lateral femoral supracondylar ridge. Also, I'll have a pop up here to show you how it looks like when you look into a person's calf. Um, as I was saying, it inserts, it originates at the supracondylar ridge and it inserts at the calcaneus via the calcaneal and the Achilles tendon. They're the same thing, calcaneal and Achilles tendon, just different names. Um, the second muscle is the soleus muscle. This muscle originates from the soleal line of your tibia and the proximal fibula. And it inserts also at your calcaneus via the Achilles tendon. The tibia and the fibula, they are both lower leg bones and they're very important as a lot of muscles of your lower leg originates from that area. Also, a lot of knee muscles also inserts at that area. There are also a lot of landmarking that you should know about these two bones. If you want to know how they look like, you can take a look in this pop-up right here and I'll give it five seconds for the person in the pop-up to show you how to landmark these two bones when you look at it. Lastly, we have the gastrocnemius. This muscle has two muscle bellies and it makes up the main bulk and the main look of your calf when somebody flexes or plantar flexes their ankle. Um, this muscle originates from the medial and lateral femoral condyles and it has, as I, was, as I said, two muscle bellies and it converges together uh, into the Achilles tendon and it inserts at the calcaneus as well. They're all innervated by the tibial nerve and they're all commonly supplied by the popliteal artery where the plantaris and the gastrocnemius take blood from the lateral sural branch of the popliteal artery, the medial muscle belly of the gastrocnemius take blood supply from the medial sural artery. The soleus also, aside from just taking blood supply from the popliteal artery, it also takes blood supply from your peroneal artery as well. The common function of all these muscles is to plantar flex at the ankle joint. And there are more specific functions that come along with the plantaris and the gastrocnemius. They both cross the knee joint and when a muscle crosses the joint, it will have an effect on the joint. We can say for rectus femoris in your knee, for example, say this is your knee joint and it can do this. And this is your lower leg and this is your uh, thigh. So this is the joint and your rectus femoris goes directly on top of here. So muscles only pull, they never push and your rectus femoris inserts at your tibial tuberosity right here, which is a, a bone of your lower leg in a landmark. So you can imagine the muscle pulling and never pushing. Muscles never push. When they pull, they do this. So when a muscle crosses a joint, it will have an effect on the joint. And as I was saying, the plantaris and the gastrocnemius, they both cross the knee joint because they originate from your femur and they cross the joint, the knee joint, and they go all the way to your calcaneus, which is your ankle joint. So they will also flex the knee joint because of that. Um, that is all for the video. Thank you for watching.